figured out why there's a vehicle in the road. Seems kind of odd. Welcome back, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Buchanan Field in Concord to Minden, Nevada. I'm flying a Cessna Citation Longitude jet. I'll be flying at a flight level of 12,000 feet. I'm going to reset the view, take off the parking brake, and take off. I don't know why there's a vehicle in the road. It seems kind of odd. But we just went right through them. Okay. So we've jumped up in the air. We're going to put the gear up. My takeoff wasn't super smooth, but it worked out okay. Laps up. Concord Tower KA 527 continue for north departure. Okay, we'll start making our turn here. Beautiful day here in Northern California. I think it's supposed to begin warming up a little bit this weekend. Climb just a little slower. Maybe allow myself to see a little bit better and get more speed going. Slightly off course, but I can fix that easy enough. Alright, we're getting speed. Starting to level off some more.
Okay, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Autopilot. I've noticed lately that the game looks very washed out at high altitude. I don't know, I've tried all kinds of settings to make it look better. I've got, got it to look as good as I can. Um, I don't know if they changed the weather. Maybe it's more realistic this way. But it does seem to be a little desaturated. Maybe I can fix that in Premiere Pro when I post the video. But as I'm looking at it now, it just looks kind of washed out. When I'm near the ground, though, things look fine. So I don't know. I think it's just a weather effect. And I haven't found a way to reduce that effect. Looks like autopilot making an adjustment there. I'm not sure what part of California we're over, um, probably S Sacramento area. It does seem to be a nice clear day. Had a lot of overcast and kind of wet weather lately. Yeah, there's Sacramento Executive Airport, so we're over the Sacramento metropolitan area. Good to go inside periodically, make sure there isn't anything beeping that shouldn't be. I know the ticker tape shows the red and white warning, but it seems like this is an okay speed for the plane. Um, I do see our total airspeed a little higher than the max. It's not saying overspeed though, sometimes it'll say overspeed. But at this point I will pull it back just a tad. See if I can get it down to 480 maybe. Total airspeed.
Apparently you can see the snowy mountains off in the distance. I think 12,000 feet is high enough, but I'm not, not actually sure. Mountains look like they're pretty high. Yeah, again, the quality of the view outside looks very washed out and blue, and inside everything looks very rich, so it doesn't seem to be a graphics card setting. I think it's a game setting. I think it's just maybe doing realistic winter smoggy weather. I don't know. Um, don't think I could do much about that. I've taken the drone out and dropped down in this situation and things get nice and rich when you get down towards the ground. I might just need to experiment some more with weather settings. Okay, at this point I need to begin dropping an altitude. I don't think I'm going over the mountains, I think I'm landing somewhere before them. So let's set the target of 7500. And I need to slow down because we're approaching rather quickly. take over for autopilot at this point. Drop the throttle a bit more and nose down. Just try to burn off some of this potential energy. not know what this airport looks like, so don't know what to expect when we get there. It's too early to get the parking, I'm sorry, the, uh, I mean the pattern entry to show up. Parking, yeah. Maybe that's what it really looks like from this altitude. I'm happy with the reduction in speed and altitude. I'm going to give it a bit more throttle now that we've dropped to where we want to be. Let's see if I can keep the approach in sight. Looks like we're about to fly over Lake Tahoe here. That'll be beautiful.
slow down just a bit more, although I don't want to slow down much more than that. But it would be nice to be able to look at the lake as we go by. Getting some wind up drafts or something. Okay, I think that's Lake Tahoe. Um, I haven't seen it from this angle before. It's beautiful in person. One one nine decimal seven five K A five two seven. Oakland Center K A five two seven seven thousand six hundred feet. K A five two seven Oakland Center altimeter three zero decimal three two continue as planned. So again, I don't really know, can't tell where the airport is exactly, what it's going to look like when we get there. Feels like we're getting a little bit close to these mountains. I think I'll just go above them a little bit. Maybe it's over this hill and I've got to climb up over it. Kind of looks that way. comfortable contacting them to get the landing pattern. I don't know which one. Just pick one. Kilo Micago Victor, traffic KA 52724 miles west, 10,700 feet inbound to land runway 16. Okay, I see a pattern entry sign, head over in that direction. Still learning how to coordinate my turns with the rudder and the aileron. didn't seem too bad. Or maybe this is Lake Tahoe. Maybe that other stuff was something else. Okay, yeah, this looks more like what I was expecting. Kind 
kind of looks partially frozen. I wonder if it really is. Or actually, that's probably um, it's probably low, and that's land that has snow fallen on it. I mean, assuming the game has that kind of up-to-date up information. Okay, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I don't know about dropping an altitude. I think we still need to get through that little gap there. Can't tell how high that is. Of course, we're thousands of feet higher than the pattern entry, so maybe I should drop. I'm going to put the flaps down now to get our speed down. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm going to let this go, see if I can get a nice thumbnail out of it or something. as I uh, hit just the water in the background. Now that's really pretty. I'm trying to fly the plane from the side, but it seems to be stable. I feel like the flaps kind of stabilized it. Okay, well, maybe that's good enough. I don't think I'm going to clear the snow in the background. And we do still have to get up over this little bit. is this mountain. I think, yeah, it's pretty high. So I better go ahead and stay nose up. If I was a real pilot, I sure would lo love to have a rear view like this. Okay, so I see the brackets over on the left. I see the pattern entry straight ahead. I guess I've... S yeah, okay. I guess I go there and turn. And we're going too fast. We can go ahead and put the gear down. the Minden, Nevada area, uh, Lake Tahoe area. I've driven here, so I've been, you know, technically been here, but I don't really remember much about what it looked like. I drove in and drove out to do some computer work for somebody. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down again. So yeah, there's Minden, Nevada right there. And I guess we're a little far away to look straight down at it. Yeah, I don't think I'll, think I'll be able to show much just from this view. Maybe um, out the window? No, not really. Well, anyway, I need to focus on flying this thing. 
looks like we could drop some altitude here. Alright, drop some throttle, get the speed back down. Alright, I see what we're doing here. I don't want to drop speed much more than that, so let's give it some more throttle. And I'll start making my turn into the pattern. Okay, we're going a little fast, so pull back on that. Wow, this place is just very flat and empty. I guess there's some agricultural stuff. Well, it feels like we're on course to be able to land okay here. Speed's okay, and it will slow down more once we get closer to landing. A little bit of a hill here to climb over. Not too bad. And the brackets kind of disappear into the ground a bit there. Yeah. A little bit of safety throttle. I still have 180 degrees of turning to do. I'm trying to keep an eye on my speed as I do this. Let's th slow down just a little bit. I'd like to keep it under 160, but above 150. Oh, uh, we've got this nasty hill. Wasn't expecting that. That's okay. Get up over it. Lose a little bit of speed, but I know as long as we're hitting these brackets at the top, we'll be over that 
point. Just to make sure. Oh, wow, is it really close? Okay, I do need to start slowing down. We are over it, so we're fine. Okay, now I need to get rid of this altitude and drop speed. Go down to zero thrust, put the flaps all the way down, give it back a little bit of thrust. Too slow, okay. So it's apparently an unmanned airport, so nobody will tell me to go around. I'll just have to figure that out on my own if needed. I have a habit of landing a little short in this thing. I prefer not to do that. Yeah, I know I'm going slow, but I seem to be gliding okay, so I'm not not too worried about that. I'm gonna ignore it, trust my flaps, and just head towards the runway. Feeling a little slow, but it's okay. Try not to do any last minute adjustments. Flare up a little bit, drop the engines down. Okay, I'm a little short. Again, it's for out in the nice desert. I'm gonna try my spoilers. Oh, that's the parking brake. I'm gonna try, let's see, spoilers. Where did I put those? Here. That ought to slow me down. Yeah, I see them. There they are. Flaps up. So another kind of short, bouncy landing. Still getting used to this thing, but I'm okay with that. That was fun. What a beautiful area this is. Wow. Especially this time of year. Okay, I think I can turn here. I'll just drive over the rubber markers and things. Guess I'm a bit of a clumsy pilot. Okay, so we're off the runway. Parking brake on. I have a new button for acknowledging the warning. What did I assign that to? I don't actually... maybe seven? No. Oh well, doesn't matter. Click that. Alright. And contact somebody. Or I guess just announce clear runway. Kilo Mike Echo Victor traffic KA527 is clear of the runway. Kilo Mike Echo Victor traffic KA527 is taxiing to runway 16. Uh, well, not to the runway. Planning to park. Um, <laughs> question is where? I guess over that direction. Okay. So to get there, I'll just 
do it rogue. Alright, let's uh, get some thrust going here. Might be a turn over here. Yep, there it is. getting used to the taxing and turning in this thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can just go over and park anywhere I want at this point. So, let's go ahead and do that. Break. Throttle off. Flaps are already up. Engine's off. Take the drone out and look around a little bit. Oops, I need this one. love the sound of those engines. So here we are in Minden, Nevada. So see a bunch of agricultural stuff. Snowy mountains. Seeing a lot of screen ripping as I'm scrolling around, which I'm not used to. Looks like the frame rate's okay. I'm not sure why I'm getting all that ripping. All right. Well, anyway, so here we are. Let's just uh, go back inside and shut the plane off. And it didn't stop the flight. That's fine. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.